Processing is really hard. Well, it can be hard, it's true. And it's very, very long sometimes. Uh, you can spend hours and hours to get a magnificent image. Or get nothing. <laughs> um, sometimes I see Antoine, you know, processing for like, you know, one hour, two hours. Sometimes he's doing the same image for an entire week. Which is why in this video, I'm going to kind of challenge myself and see if we can get a great result going like super, super quick, like rushing through everything. Like, my life depends on it. A speed run. Yeah, let's see how uh, this turns out. Yes, and since I'm still uh, not so good at pics and sight, I will be keeper of the clock and I will be starting and stopping time. Uh, I will only be pausing the timer when it is loading, when it's processing. And yeah. So, one last thing. Uh, this video is not to flex my... Uh, processing muscles or anything. It's really to give you some tips and show you what can be done uh, if you really rush through Pixel Insight. Uh, I actually have no idea. I've never tried just rushing through it like crazy. So I'm actually pretty impatient to find out if it's going to be a beautiful image or not. So um, first tip, for example, is shortcuts. Uh, whenever we open Pixel Insight here, uh, we always have our dashboard loaded with uh, all of our processes and settings we want. So we talked about this in the past. So um, go back to this video if you want to, but this is going to help, of course, really, really uh, much when yeah, going go from like super bah, fast. Bah, bah, yeah. Bah. So let's jump into it. I'm going to pick M29, which is in my files from like an old time. So uh, this is a great nebula slash clusters uh, in Cygnus, and we'll, we'll process see if we can do it as fast as possible. In like let's five go. minutes. All right, guys, let's go. So don't forget to pause the timer every time there is a loading, okay? Or else you will uh, screw me. <laughs> All right, so here I'm going to quickly stretch this image, which is M29. Okay, do we start? Yeah, start. Boop! M29, okay, I'm in the channels, and I'm going to go right away to cropping. I'm going to crop out some of this uh, area. Let's do this, just so we don't have any pinning or anything. Um, like that. Let's go a bit higher here, like that. I'm going to crop this out. Okay, so as you can see on the right here, picture. Okay. No. <laughs> on the right here you can see all the shortcuts, by the way. Okay, so here is our cropped image. Now I'm going to go and do an ABE, which is Automatic Background Extractor. I'm going to go with Subtraction and replace the image right away. Normally I would do a DBE, which is a Dynamic Background Extractor, um, but here I'm just going to do an ABE, because we want to go super fast, and hopefully in this image is going to work well enough for us. Let's see, I'm going to stretch. I'm trusting you to pause and play every time. Uh, okay, that did okay, I guess. Um, not amazing, but we'll have to do. That's an ABE done. Then we have the nose reduction here. For this, it's gonna be kind of time consuming because I need a mask. So I'm going to go here and reset the STF. Open up histogram, loading, I mean, preview, maximum quality. And I'm going to raise this as high as possible just so we can see some stuff. Okay. I'm going to remove, I mean, to lower the curve here uh, just to make our gas pop. Okay, that we'll have to do. I don't have time to tweak because we are. A minute and 30 seconds in. Already? Yep. Go faster. Oh, damn. <laughs> okay. Loading. Pause. We are processing for our life here. I was going faster than I thought. Okay, and I'm screen recording, so when I'm screen recording, my computer is all glitchy and laggy. So, oh, this is a terrible uh, mask, whatever is fine. I'm going to invert the mask and apply. I don't have time to do a preview, I'll just do like a 24% noise reduction here. It's loading. <sighs> It's gonna be tough, actually. Okay, so we did crop, we did background extraction, and we're doing now no reduction. I'm going to hope it's not too blurry. Okay, it's fine. Okay, up la. Okay, I can turn this off. I mean, close it. Okay. Now next we have uh, background neutralization and color calibration. We need to do two previews: one in the background, which I just did, and is terrible, and one on the actual object. Okay, background is gonna be number one. And then white will be number two. Yeah. Number two, number one again for background. By the way guys, I know this is not very like 
informative for you because if you don't know what, how to use PixInsight, this is not the video to, to watch right now. This is only if you already know PixInsight and just want to watch the video for fun. But let's hope this turned out pretty good. Okay, so so. Uh, I like to delete all the previews. Okay, I'm going to turn off the STF, open up the histogram. Okay, unzoom. I'm going to stretch just a bit. Okay, um, a bit more. Three minutes. Uh, okay, let's try like this. So I'm stretching just a bit because I like to use aux and stretch, which will take care of the last bit of stretching and will give us some really good colors. But I think I already stretched too much, but whatever. Can't be worse than my last thing I did. I only got too dark in the beginning. So I'm gonna go like always a bit too bright on purpose. And then I will take care of the curves later. On purpose? Okay, I, I didn't really ace this stretching, but once again, we're processing for our life here, so. <laughs> Two minutes, 40 seconds. Ah. Okay, I can stretch by. STNR, we're gonna remove all the green in our image. There's already like almost no green, but here you can see some green on top here. And it's going to be removed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have no more green. I can mm -hmm. close this. I can close STF. Uh, star mask, uh, we need to reduce our star size. This one will take a while, so pause whenever you see the, um, whenever you see the loading. Okay, hopla, loading. Oh, we waited four minutes almost. Yes. Mm. Yeah, so this takes forever here, Starnet. Uh, I know you can uh, kind of modify it for Windows and stuff, but I think on Mac you can't. Anyway, so uh, it's turning out not too bad actually. Like I'm going super fast and so far it looks okay. Obviously the, some errors here I can see. Uh, the background extraction on top, like for example around here is terrible on this corner as well, uh, on this corner as well. So these corners uh, could have been taken care of much better with DBE. And then uh, when it comes to stars, like for example, this star here is very, very saturated. So it's way too orange. So this I could have taken care of uh, earlier as well. And there's some real orange here as well. But um, we'll, we'll try taking care of that in this uh, process afterwards. So here is doing StarNet, which is going to give me a star mask. I'm going to remove, I mean, I'm going to reduce the star, the size of the stars. And uh, if we have to, I will um, reduce the saturation of the stars. We'll see. Could probably take a nap and come back. <laughs> yeah, normally you can modify this or on your computer. Like StarNet can take like only like 12 seconds, but I don't think on the Mac you can, I'm not sure. It depends on which graphic card you have and stuff. Mm, yeah. It's fine, it's, it's not too bad. Come on. It gives me time to prepare my next moves. Like chess? Yes. Processing is much harder than chess. Yeah. Okay, Queen's Gambit. <laughs> Get ready to unpose. Okay, we have the star mask here. This is, ooh, really bad. Um, Starless version, we don't, we don't really care about it anyway. So I'm going to apply the star mask here and I'm going to check if it's like, okay, affecting the stars. Now I'm going to apply a morphological transformation right away, 100%. Uh, I'll have time to uh, check. There's not much of a difference, but I'll do it twice. Let's see. I'm going to keep the star mask for later. I'm just going to remove it from my current screen. Okay, now we have... Actually, I should have kept it down. Okay, I'm going to put the star mask back on. I'm going to invert it. Okay, and I'm going to open up local histogram equalization. This one kind of scares me because it takes a while to load every time. But 15 seconds! Okay, let's lose the amount. 
doesn't have to be exactly five minutes. This is still very fast. Okay, I don't think we need this actually. I don't want to use that. Okay, I'm going to use uh, color saturation really quickly. 10 range. I'm going to see what we can do with the reds here mm. without going crazy though. Okay, see yellows are too much. I don't want too much yellow. Green don't care. So I'm just playing with that. I want more blues for sure. Okay, I think I like that. Apply. Did you pause? Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, and then lastly, I, I think we we don't have any we don't have much noise. I think it's fine. I don't think I'm gonna bother with. Oh, you know what? Let's do it anyway. I know you guys will say that I cheated if I don't, so I'm going to... Cheater! Ah. It's okay, Antoine only cheats at board games. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Can't okay. trust him. I'm going to do SEDNR real quick. Make a mask super fast. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Okay, oh. okay, okay. Mask is done. Hurry up, okay. I'm going to apply this. Well, let's see what it looks like first. Ah, much better. Just not too much. Hopla. Okay, and after this one, I'm just going to play with the colors one more time in the curves. And we'll be done, guys. So as you can see, this is a huge difference already. Let's see. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I have no idea what happened. <laughs> it's loading the pose. Okay. Me, I'm just like... Oh, it's more than five minutes already? Oh. You did your best. I did my best. This is still pretty, pretty fast. Um, Go! Oh. You can't stop! <laughs> ah! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay, curves. Last thing, curve. Let's go real quick. An S curve. If you have no idea what to do with curves, just do an S curve. Like that. Not too much though. And let's see, saturation real quick. A bit more of the crazy. Okay, and lightness. Whoa! No. A bit. Okay, apply. And uh, I am done. I am done. I am done. Six minutes and 48 seconds. You're only almost two minutes oh, over. I really, I really was hoping it would be uh, five minutes or less. Well, I think you wasted the first minute uh, kind of just talking too much. Yeah. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to say this as a JPEG, which is not what you want, usually. <laughs> no. You don't. Um, Why is that? Because uh, usually I do uh, TIFF and I go on Lightroom to tweak a bit more, but here it's fine. We're just on this on purpose. Going. All right, guys, so this is the result. What's my time? Your time is 6 minutes and 48 seconds. So that's terrible. So Still I, faster than my two hours. I mm. obviously have two hours. You spent all day on those. <laughs> I you don't have to be so mean about it, Juan. <laughs> I obviously have to practice more and reach the five minutes mark for the <laughs> for the Olympics next. <laughs> five minutes mark. Mm. So here is the final image, guys. So this is a, the image we just got after like six minutes of processing. And uh, honestly, what do you think? It's good, right? I mean... Okay, wait. It's impeccable. This was before, by the way. Yeah. Before, after, in six minutes, guys. I mean, I think it's amazing. Like the colors are popping out so much, and there's so much of the gases you didn't even see before. Now the question is, it is, is rushing like rushing crazy? No, is spending a full day on an image processing worth it? Is it better than spending five minutes on it, or to spend one day on it? Let me show you um, the picture that I originally had from last year that I spent like a full day on it on Pixel Insight. This was it. Ooh. So this is more vibrant, it's more crisp, and the black dust here is much more dark. It's more present. Yeah, so obviously it makes a difference. There's a big distinction there. You know, but it's going back and forth, you can see that that's where it is. You still get some of it in the very dark areas. I think areas. it's still amazing. Yeah, no, it's not bad at all. Yeah, actually, in some areas, I prefer this one, in some areas. Yeah. Like here is over processed. Yeah, the the red in the corner. All right, guys. So this was processing a picture in like six point forty nine seconds, six minutes and forty nine seconds. Almost seven seven minutes. Terrible. What a shame. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so yeah, if you want, I mean, 
have fun and um I mean processing process like hell. I mean, yeah, processing fast. we always talk about it as like, you know, your own way. You have your own methods. You might not even use the same shortcuts that we do. There's maybe even some that we've never used before that yeah. you do, that you use. So you know, it whether you spend five minutes or a full day, just make sure that it's to your liking. And uh, to finish off, if you guys want uh, to download uh, some of the raw data we have and also uh, all of our shortcuts here. So what I showed you today, guys, was not all of them. Usually I, we have more shortcuts, uh, which are all in one file. And if you guys want, you can download our PDF guide on processing, uh, which will be in the link below. And uh, you will get Great. raw data and all raw the shortcuts. Raw data, links, and step-by-step -step instructions on how yeah. to. There's like 77 pages in a full video. So, so yeah, guys, uh, we'll see you next time. Tell us what you thought about this. I mean, I'm, are you impressed? I'm impressed. I am sh pretty sure we could do under five minutes if we did a galaxy or a cluster, like a galaxy or a cluster. I mean, it'd be, it'd only be if you guys want to see that. Yeah, so if you guys want to see that, we can try with a galaxy or a cluster, and I'm sure we're getting reached the five minute marks, the five minute or under mark. So yeah. So we'll see you guys next time. And uh, Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.